against us. No one. You know, we who were born here take so many freedoms for granted. Sometimes it's good for us to hear from someone who wasn't born here. Someone who sees this world through an immigrant's eyes. Someone who can see from the outside what we have and what we risk losing. Virginia Fuller is a nurse. She is an immigrant. She is an activist. She has been on the front lines of the pro-life movement defending innocent children. She sees a need. She fills it. Please join me in welcoming Virginia Fuller. Hello, patriots. I suppose they are so surprised and baffled to find out that we are upset for the uh, mandate that it had been forced upon us. It was said that we need to pass the bill so you can find out what's in it. <laughs> and now we did and we don't like it, <laughs> right? So we're telling them, take it back, all of it. We don't want to work piecemeal at it and fix this and fix that because it is a violation of our rights. You got as, it. As an immigrant, as an immigrant, and many other immigrants came to this country because of what America has to offer. It offers freedom. Freedom that is given to us by our creator, not the government. And, and our founding fathers guaranteed us that freedom by drafting a constitution that is solid, it is, it is foolproof, and it doesn't need to be amended. We like the Constitution for what it stands for. It grants us the a First Amendment right to speak up against what we believe is against our religion. And also the 14th Amendment grants us the, the freedom of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And we have never given those rights up to the federal government. So we're here to tell the government to go home if you cannot, uh, all right, if you cannot abide by the rules that you proposed to us when you were running for office and um, adhere to the constitution, we want we want to be free people, and therefore we do not uh, we do not accept this mandate. The, this HSS mandate is against our freedom. is against our religion. <laughs> and so, now that we have found out in general what's in this bill. I'd like to t uh, mention a few more that usually is not in, um, it's not in the mainstream media. Um, many of us, Tea Party activists, protested and said, kill the bill. We didn't want it. Many labor unions and big corporations wanted it. But guess what? 4,200 something companies got exemptions. And you and I are not part of those exemptions. Another thing is, as Catholic, and I am a, a Roman Catholic, we, we stand for life. We, we adore life. Yet we are being forced to support a practice that definitely destroys life. And we are here to stand up for those unborn children that cannot speak up for themselves. If we had a fair government, they would respect our religion just like they respect the Muslims and the Amish who are also exempt from this law. And yes, there are death penalties. I mean, death penalties. You are going to be sanctioned. You are going to be given a, a formula to come up with a, a number that will afford you um, health care. I'm not going to go too much in that, but yes, there is going to be a panel of 15 bureaucrats that will tell your physician 
or specialist to determine, yes, she can have the surgery or no, she cannot. We don't want that. That is not a free America. Right. Got it, right on. And while they want you to believe that, that we, the Christian, the Christian community, are against seniors and that we only want seniors to die, let me tell you that these hypocrites have written in this very same mandate and stole $500 billion from the, from the senior care while they accusing Christians and uh, everybody that opposes them for this bill. Last but not least, you probably haven't heard this yet, but hidden in this very same bill is also a provision that requires down the road when they are settled and have all their, their police and henchmen in place, each one of you, before you will be granted an approval for any type of healthcare services, you will have a chip implanted. That is in the bill. And obviously, this has nothing to do with health care. It has all to do with denying you your freedom that is guaranteed under the U.S. Constitution. And we are here to tell them we will fight for the U.S. Constitution and we will defend our uh, religious freedom and stand up for life, always. Thank you, Virginia. It always shocks me how many people don't understand the Constitution. They say, well, so what if it's unconstitutional? We like it. We have a Constitution for a reason. This document that founded our country matters. I've got one.